this is Caroline from Kirchelina.com and I've got an exciting episode for you today because I'm going to teach you how to read symbol patterns. There is nothing more confusing than a badly written crochet pattern. And even if it's well written, if it's complicated, it can be very confusing. It's all abbreviated and sometimes you don't know where stitches are going into the previous rows. So having a symbol chart makes it so much easier to understand what is happening. Every time I write a pattern, you're going to see at least partial symbol charts because I think it is the easiest to understand and I want you guys to be able to understand my patterns. So I'll have it written and with symbol patterns. So today I'm going to show you three examples of symbol charts that I found online. And the reason why I'm showing you different people's patterns is because I'm using patterns from different countries, not English. For example, I've got this flower motif, which I'm going to show you how to do step by step by following the symbol chart. And I've got this open work crochet stitch that I'm going to show you how to do by reading the symbol chart. All of this is in Russian. I don't know Russian, but I know exactly how to make this because I can read the chart. And finally, I'm going to do a penguin step by step. And I'm doing this because it has got in the round work and row by row. And most people in the US would just write it out because it's complicated. But how to explain where do the stitches go into each other? It's much easier to see in a symbol chart. So I'm going to do it step by step and hopefully you'll get good practice that you can go online and tackle some of your own. So let's get started. So the first thing I want to show you is a symbol chart reference legend. So these are two different websites, charts with writing. And if you look, the symbols are pretty much exactly the same. So chain, chain, slip stitch is a dot, slip stitch is a dot, single crochet X plus or plus X are the same thing, half double crochet, half double crochet. See they're the same symbols. Regardless if it's a Chinese website that has these patterns or Russian or Spanish, it doesn't matter. The symbols all mean the same thing. If you look here, we've got a treble written here with TR, and this is the symbol. Here it says triple crochet, TR, and the same symbol. Whatever it's written as, triple crochet, treble, it doesn't matter. They're both TR, they are both done exactly the same way because it is the same symbol. So I have in my blog post that I've linked below a chart that you can print out as a reference and if you ever forget how to do a certain stitch so you see in the pattern oh that's a single crochet two together how do I do that well you can go to the second link which is the beginner crocheters guide post which has videos short little videos of how to do um, the most common stitches and I'll keep adding to it as I need to so you can check that out too so let's get started with reading the patterns. So print this out, have it next to you while we are reading our symbol patterns so that you can keep referencing to the symbols and what they are. Here I've got a flower motif and it's a relatively simple symbol pattern. It's very repetitive, so let's get started. Whenever you're doing anything in the round, you're always going to look for the center of the piece. This is where you're starting. This is the magic circle, right here. And then you're going to look for where the chains start, because chains are what gets the height up for the first round. So it always starts with chains. So here are your first chains. One, two, three. Okay, so let's start with our magic circle. And then we're going to have three chains, right? 
and then we are going to do a double crochet into the magic circle and you're always going counterclockwise whenever you're doing any sort of in the round pattern so first we'll do a double crochet and then we are going to chain four Okay, and now comes the repetitive part. So you always want to try and find what is this pattern. So you have two double crochet together. This is a double crochet decrease and then chain four. So two double crochet together, chain four. Two double crochet together, chain four. You're going to keep doing that until you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight chain spaces. So I'll show you first how to do two double crochet together. So you wrap, insert your hook into the magic circle, wrap and pull through. Then you're going to wrap, remove two. Then you're going to wrap and go into the circle again and wrap and pull through. Then you're going to wrap and remove two loops and you're going to wrap and remove three loops. Those are two double crochets together. So that is this symbol, and then you're going to chain four. So you're going to do that all the way around. I've done one, two, three, four, five, six, seven chain spaces plus the last four chains, which are here, which we're going to slip stitch with our first starter chain to create our eighth chain space. So you just slip stitch here in the third chain. So let's find our third chain. One, two, three. Just like that. And so that's ended our first round and you can pull on your magic circle to tighten everything together. Now we're going to change colors. So where to attach our next color? Well, they've made it pretty simple. They give you an arrow right here. And this shows you where they want you to attach it into this chain space. And then you're going to do your first chain three to start off your round. So I'm going to attach it in my first chain space with a slip stitch, or actually with a chain, I'll attach it. And then I'm going to do some more chains. One, two, three. Okay. Then we're going to start our round. So these are double crochets. So we're going to do one, two, three double crochets into that same space. There's one. Two. And three. Okay, then we're going to do a chain two. And now, after you've done your first part, you want to start looking for the pattern. So, what's the pattern? I'm going to do four double crochet and chain two. Four double crochet, chain two. Four double crochet, chain two. And each of those set of four double crochet is going to go into a chain space. So you're going to do that all the way around. So here I've done my sets of four double crochet and chain two all the way around until I got to my last chain two. And here you can see the slip stitch shows you that you're going to slip stitch with the third chain from our starter chain. So find your third chain and slip stitch. And that is the end of round two. Now we've got to our last round, round three. And in the same way we're going to see where we're attaching our yarn, just right here with our starter vertical chain. So into one of the chain two spaces. 
and this one in particular is the chain two space right after our slip stitch which is right here so this is where they want us to attach So I'm going to attach with a chain. And then it wants us to do a single crochet into that chain space. So there's the single crochet. And now, let's see what it wants. It wants us to chain three, one, two, three, and do a double crochet into that single crochet we just made. Okay? So, one, two, three, and then a double crochet into this spot right here. Or actually, you could go into the third chain as well. You can just go right there, which I think would be easier. should look the same. Okay? Then it wants us to single crochet into in between the two stitches in the middle. So we've got four stitches here if you count the first starter chain as a stitch, right? So the X is really in between the middle two stitches. So what I would do is just see here are our four double crochet looking stitches. Push it apart and you're going to single crochet in between those stitches just like that okay and then we are going to repeat and do chain three and a double crochet into that bottom chain Okay, and this time we're going to single crochet into the chain space. And now we're going to try and find the pattern, right? So we're doing a lot of these chain three and double crochets into the single crochet or into this chain right here. And then we're going to do a single crochet in the middle of the four double crochet from the last round. And then we're going to repeat this and then do a single crochet into the chain two space. Now when you're doing this kind of repetition that it's not um, exactly the same you just need to count and keep looking at your work to make sure that you're not skipping something. So I'm going to do this set one time chain three and then double crochet and then single crochet in the middle then chain three and double crochet and then single crochet into the chain space and you're going to do that all the way around So I've done this all the way around and I've done my last chain three double crochet set and I'm ready to slip stitch into the single crochet which is our first stitch we did. And there it is. That's what it should look like. So here I've got a page out of a Russian book and we've got a symbol pattern and the photo of what the stitch is supposed to look like. I don't know what the words are saying. I'm going to show you how to read this and we're hopefully going to create something that looks just like this. So let's get started. I'm going to do a slip knot. So how to know where to start? Well, usually they'll have numbers on the sides. 
so you know which row you're doing. So there's one, two, three, four, five, and they're alternating because when you get to the end of the row, you're going to turn your work and continue, and then turn your work and continue. So this lets you know it is not in the round. Also, it doesn't always go from right to left or left to right. This particular pattern starts right here. And I know that because of looking where the first chain, which is vertical, is. And that is the place where I'm going to increase height to start my stitches. So I'm going to be starting here. And what you're going to do is you're going to count the chains. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. And then one more for the vertical, which is 18. So we're going to start with 18 chain. There's my 18 chains, and now I'm going to go to the next row. And if you look at your simple pattern chart, a plus sign is a single crochet. So you're going to be doing a single crochet into each chain all the way across until the last chain. And you're going to start by going into the second chain from your hook, because we're skipping the first one. This first single crochet is right on top of the second chain from the hook. And I'm just going to go into the middle ridge of each of my chains. So I've done my first row, where I've done single crochet all the way across. So it looks just like this. This is where I finished. I got all the way here. And now look, there's another vertical chain, which means this is my first chain to start. So I'm going to first do a chain, and then I'm going to do one, two, three single crochet, and then chain one, two, three, four, five, and skip one, two, three single crochet. So you can see there are three where there's no stitches going into it. So those are the ones you're going to skip. You're going to do chain, single crochet on top of a single crochet, another single crochet on top of the next stitch, another single crochet on top of the next stitch, and then chain five while skipping three single crochet. And then you're going to do one, two, three, four, five single crochet chain five while skipping three and then one two three and that'll be the end of our round so first we're going to chain and then we're going to do three single crochet one two three One, two, three. Then I'm going to chain five. One, two, three, four, five. Skipping three single crochet. One, two, three, and then we're going to go into the next stitch and do five single crochet. One, two, three, four, five. And then we are going to chain five. One, two, three, four, five. We're going to skip three single crochet. So one, two, three, then we're going to do one, 
two, and then the third one is going to go in the last stitch, three. Now I've finished. Then for the next row, the nice thing about this symbol pattern is they color code it so you can actually see the difference between the rows. Now we've got the next one. So we're going to do a vertical chain, so one chain one, and then two single crochet, chain three, and then a single crochet right into that chain five we did. So let's start off with that. So we're going to chain two, one, uh, not chain two, sorry, two single crochet, there are two, chain three, one, two, three, and then you're going to single crochet into this chain space. There's a single crochet. And if you want, you can even go into the third out of the five chains. That would be, you know, the most accurate to get it right in the middle. So you count one, two, three, and then you just go into that chain and do a single crochet. Just like that. Then we're going to do another chain three. One, two, three. And then we're going to do three single crochet, but we're doing it in the middle of the five. So we're skipping the first single crochet stitch, and then we're going to do three, and then we're going to skip this last one. So here are my five single crochets that I did, so I'm going to skip the first one. One, two, three. Okay, and then I'm going to chain three and do a single crochet into the middle of the five chains and then another chain three. And then here, after we've done our chain three, we skip the first single crochet and we're going to go into the next two. So we're skipping this one. We're going to do into the last two stitches. And that finishes the next row. Then we are here. We're going to do a chain and then a single crochet in the first stitch. And then we're going to chain one, two, three. And here you can see that the first single crochet we're going to do is going to go into the chain three spot, but into the chain that is um, the first, the first of the three here. And this single crochet is going to go into that chain. So, first you're going to the chain. There's one. Then the single next single crochet is going to go onto top of this single crochet. And then the third single crochet goes into the first chain just like that. Then we're going to do a chain three. One, two, three. And then maybe we need a little bit of light. That's better. Okay. We do the chain three. And then we're going to do a single crochet into the middle of the three stitches from the previous row. So we've got three stitches here. One, two, three. We're going to go into the middle one. So skip the first one. 
go into the second one and then we're going to chain three one two three and then we're going to single crochet in the same way we did the first time where we go into the third chain and then a single crochet into the single crochet from the previous round and then a single crochet into the first of the other chain one single crochet into the chain one on top of the single crochet and one into the first chain of three so now we've done our three single crochet stitches there we're going to chain three one two three skip one stitch and single crochet in the last stitch just like that now we're going to do row five and so we need to do one two three four five chains one two three four five and we are going to do five single crochet where the first one is going into the last chain then we're going to do three single crochet over the three single crochet from the last row and then we're going to do another single crochet on top of the first chain so, so first we go into this last chain from this set there's one single crochet then we have three stitches so we're going to single crochet into each of these stitches one, two, three, and then a single crochet into the first chain, just like that. So we have five. Now we're going to do one, two, three, four, five chains, and then we're going to repeat it again where we do the five single crochet, just like we did before. One, two, three, four, five. So into the last chain of this chain set we'll do our first single crochet and then we'll do three single crochet on top of the three from the last round, row and then we will do one single crochet into the first chain of three so we are here then we're going to chain two one two and here we're going to do a double crochet that's the symbol for double crochet so into the first stitch which was a single crochet So there is our double crochet. So that was row five. Now we're at row six and we're going to do our first chain and then a single crochet on top of that double crochet we just did. And then we're going to chain three and then we are going to skip our first single crochet and just do three single crochet. So first to chain three, skip the first one and then do three. So one, two, three. Then we're going to do one, two, three chains. One, two, three. Then we're going to single crochet into the middle chain that we did of this chain five from the last round. So we'll find the middle and do a single crochet. And then we're going to chain three. And then we're going to skip our first single crochet stitch and then do three 
single crochet. So we'll skip this and do three. Okay, then we're going to chain three and do a single crochet into the third chain. So one, two, three, the third one from the bottom. So we've got to count one, two, and then three. And that was row six. Now we're going to do row seven. So we first have to do our chain one and then we'll do two single crochet. One of them goes into the first chain. So chain one, then we'll do a single crochet. And then the second single crochet goes into the first chain. Then I'm going to chain three, one, two, three, and then single crochet into the middle of the three stitches. So just skip a stitch. One, two, three, and I skip the first stitch and do a single crochet into the Right here, and then we're going to go one, two, three chains. One, two, three, and then we're doing a single crochet into the last of the chain set, single crochet on top of the single crochet, and then a third single crochet into the first of the chain set. So this is the first single crochet into the chain, second single crochet into the single crochet and third single crochet into the chain and then we are going to do chain three one two three and then a single crochet into the middle so we're going to skip our first stitch And then we're going to chain three and then do a single crochet into the last chain and a single crochet onto the last stitch. And that is the end of our round of row seven. So you can see it's starting to get that fillet look that we're working towards. All right, so let's keep going. Um, let's see, that was seven, and now we're doing eight. Okay. So now we're in the black, so we'll chain one. Then we're gonna do three single crochet. So the first two go into the first two stitches one, two, and the third single crochet goes into the chain. And then we're going to chain five. And then we're going to do five single crochet. One in the first and the last chain and then three on top of the three and then one in the first chain set. And then chain five. And then chain into the, I mean, single crochet into the chain, and then two more on the stitches. One and two. 
Okay. Now we're at row nine, so we're going to chain and then do two single crochet. We're going to chain three and then single crochet into the middle of the five. So one, two, three. And then chain three. And then we're going to skip a stitch and do three single crochet. And then we're going to chain three and do a single crochet in the middle of the five. And then another chain three. Skip a stitch and do two single crochet. Okay, now we're at our last row, row 10. So we are going to chain and do a single crochet in the first stitch, chain three. And then we're going to put a single crochet into the last chain from the set, a single crochet on top of the single crochet, and a single crochet in the first chain of the set. And then we're going to chain three, one, two, three. And then we're going to skip a stitch and single crochet in the middle of the three. Then we're going to chain three and then we're going to do a single crochet into the last chain, single crochet on top of the single crochet, and then single crochet into the first chain, chain three, and then single crochet into the last stitch. And there we've got the fillet. So you can see um, these kind of bunches are right here. We've got one, two, and three. And if you kept repeating and going on, you would have the same look as this. This one has, of course, a lot more. That's why it's open work, and that'll be covered in another video. But as you can see, it was quite a mouthful to try and explain what I was doing. It's a lot easier to read it visually and to look at your crochet work to figure out um, how to do something. So that is an example of how to go row by row. So here I've got a penguin applique, and this is taken from Chisako's blog. She does beautiful fillet animal patterns and people, so you can check her out. And her patterns are not straightforward, because there's no straightforward way to make a penguin. It is not in the round, it is not row by row. So I'm going to show you how to read this kind of pattern to make a more complicated shape. So what do you look for first? Well, how do you start? This is a magic circle. And since that's a starter knot, that's how you know that this is where you're going to start. Mine have like a curly cue, but it doesn't matter. This is just what a magic circle looks like. And after you see the magic circle, then you're going to find your chains that bring your work up to the height for your first round. Okay? And if you've seen my video of how to crochet flowers, I showed you how to uh, read symbol patterns to do flowers. When you're doing something in the round, like a flower, you always go counterclockwise. So we're going to start here with our magic circle and chain three, and then we'll keep going.
So there's one, two, three. There's three chains, okay? And now we're going to go this way, counterclockwise. We're going to need one, two, three, four double crochet. This is not a double crochet because it has an extra line. This is a triple crochet. So we're going to do four double crochet into our magic circle. And it makes sense that we're going counterclockwise because if you can you should always be able to place your work and see that it corresponds to your symbol pattern. So now we're going to go and do a triple crochet. There's our triple crochet. And what is this? Well, this is a chain three and then a slip stitch into the first chain to make its beak. One, two, three, and then a chain and a slip stitch into the first chain. Just like that. And this is also referred to as a pico. But I think that it's pretty self explanatory from the picture. Then we're going to do another triple crochet into our magic circle. Okay, now we're going to start counting how many double crochet we need to get back to our starting chain. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we need to do nine double crochet. So now I've finished our first round and I need to slip stitch and here it specifically tells you to slip stitch into the third chain from the bottom. So you count one, two, three, then you're going to slip stitch into that chain. To end the round. Just like that. And then you can see if you orient it, you've made the head. Okay? So now that we've finished this round, we are going to again be looking for chains to start our next row. So here are the chains. One, two, three. And then we're going to do a double crochet into the same stitch. See how they're on top of each other? Into the same chain. So one, two, three. And then you're going to do a double crochet into that same stitch. Okay? Then we're going to be going this way. You see there's the chains. We move this way. Chains. And then we move this way. So this is a back and forth kind of row idea going on here. So we did our double crochet. Now we're going to chain, double crochet in the next stitch, chain, double crochet in the next stitch, and chain. Okay, and then in this stitch we have two double crochet going into the next stitch. So you're just going to do a double crochet twice.
just like that. So we've done our first row. Now we're going to chain three and start our next row. One, two, three. And then we have here a double crochet which is on top of the same stitch we did our chain three. So you're going to turn your work because it's going row by row and do a double crochet into this first stitch. Okay. Then we are doing a chain, a single crochet into this chain space and then a chain three. So let's do our chain first. Then we're going to find our first chain space. So if we look here and we just kind of pull it apart, this is our first chain space. So we're going to do a single crochet into that chain space. Okay? And then we're going to do a chain three. One, two, three. Don't concern yourself with anything that's happening down here. That'll just confuse you. Just go row by row. So we've done chain three and now we're going to single crochet into the next space. Okay, then we're going to do another chain three and single crochet in the next space. Okay, and then we're going to chain and do two double crochet on top of the last stitch, which is right here. One and two. Okay, so that's what our penguin is looking like now. So we just finished right here. And that's where it is. Okay, now we're going to look again for chains. So this is where it gets a little trickier because we're going to start doing the hands. So one, two, three, four, five, six chains. So let's start with that. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, now it wants you to slip stitch into the second chain from the hook and then single crochet in the next and then half double in the next. So first slip stitch to the second chain from the hook. There's a slip stitch and then we're going to single crochet into the next. And then we're going to half double crochet into the next. And then this symbol is a double crochet decrease. So we're going to do two single crochet together over the next two chains. So if you don't remember how to do that, I will show you how to do that slowly. We have two chains right here. Wrap, go into your first chain. Wrap, pull through, wrap, remove two loops. Then you're going to wrap, go into your second chain, wrap and pull through, wrap and remove two loops. Then you're going to wrap and remove all three loops. And that is a two double crochet together. So now we just did this. And we're going to continue working over in this direction to do this next row. Okay, so now we have to do two double crochet into the second of the two double crochet from the last row. So we just worked over the first one, which is right here, and you can split them apart. There's the first stitch. Now we're going to work on top of the second. So we need to do two double crochet into that stitch. So here is one and two into the same stitch. Okay. 
then we're going to chain and do a single crochet into our chain three space. So let's look and find our chain three space. Here it is. This is a chain three. So we're going to single crochet into that. Just like that. And then we're going to chain three. One, two, three. And then single crochet into the next chain three space. And then we're going to chain. And then we're going to do two double crochet and a triple crochet into the last stitch, which is right. We're skipping this first one here. See, there's nothing going in there. These are only going into the second stitch. So we've got two stitches here. We're skipping this one and we're going into the chain stitch. So there is one double crochet, two double crochets, and a triple crochet. Okay, and now we're here, we've finished the row, and we're going to be doing the other hand. So we're looking for chains again. So we've got one, two, three. One, two, three. And then we've got to slip stitch into the second chain from the that we've done from the hook and then single crochet into the next. So here's the second. And then single crochet. So we've just finished this single crochet. Now realize, like, if you look at it, this is our head, this is our hand here, and then we've got our chain, and the single crochet is on this side. Well, we don't want it on this side, right? We want it on the other side, so. We are going to keep working this way. So it shows here, there's a little arrow to help you out, that you're going to slip stitch onto the second stitch from the last row. So we just did our little hand on the first stitch, which is right here. Now we're going to do a slip stitch over here into the second stitch. Okay, and then we're going to start our next row by doing our chain. So one, two, three. And then we're going to double crochet into the same stitch. You can see that we've done these two into the middle of the three stitches, see? We are not putting anything into that third one. It's just going to be there. Now we're going to chain three. One, two, three. And then we're going to single crochet into our chain three space, which is right here. Okay, then we're going to chain three. One, two, three. And then we're going to do two double crochet into the second stitch. So we're going to skip the first stitch and do two double crochet into the second. So let's find, there's the first one, and here's the second one. So we're going to wrap and do our double crochets. One, two. Okay, so we finished our next round, row. Now we're going to do the next row. So we're looking for our chains again, right? We have one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. 
Then we have a triple crochet going into the same stitch. There's our triple crochet. And then you have a triple crochet going into this chain stitch. So we're skipping all of this stuff in the middle and we're going to go into this last chain stitch, not into the hand. So if you look here, we've got the hand here, then we've got the chain, which is where we want to go into, and then the double crochet, which is right next to it. We are going into that chain. So we're going to do two triple crochets in there. Okay, and then we're going to chain three, one, two, three, and we're going to start working on the feet. So once we get to the three, we're going to slip stitch into the second chain from the hook, and then the third. So let's do the first slip stitch here, and then the second into the third chain from the hook and then we're going to slip stitch on top of the next three stitches and then on even on top of this chain stitch so four more slip stitches so these two go on to these two stitches right so there's the first slip stitch and then the second slip stitch and the third slip stitch and then the fourth then we're going to chain three one two three and then we're going to do two more slip stitches and this triangle shows you where you end so slip stitch into the second chain from the hook and then the third chain from the hook one and two and now we should have a penguin so let's have a look at it there you go that's how you do it I hope you enjoyed this video tutorial. Most of my patterns that I write will have a symbol pattern in it because I find that they're easier to read and even if you're going to read the words in the written pattern, it kind of tackles it from both directions so it makes it less confusing. So I hope that you've learned something and if you want more examples or if you want another video about how to read symbol patterns, put in the comments below. I'll do another one. and. Um, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe, so you won't miss the next episode, because the next episode is going to be how to make flower bouquets. And I'm really excited because I'm going to show you how to use any flower that you make, 2D flower, and turn it into a flower bouquet. So I'll see you next time.